everyone, welcome back to Wheels of Adventure. In this video, we're gonna show you how to get ready for your first trip after buying your trailer. So what we're gonna show you guys is how we installed our electric power tongue jack that made our life easier on disconnecting and reconnecting a trailer to the truck, mm -hmm. and also weight distribution hitch with the sway control. Check it out. All right, so we're leaving for our first trip tomorrow, and Dragon's gonna install the power tongue jack. It, from the dealer, it came with a manual crank, so we need to switch it up so it's easier and makes your life a little bit easier to get into an RV spot and also to leave. So he's going to show us how to do it. So we went with the Leapert components, power tongue jack, rated to 3,500 pounds versus factory 2,000 pound hand crank. As you guys can see, it comes with the light. It gets plugged in and then extending and retracting button. And tools? So far we're gonna need a 916 socket and a ratchet to remove a couple bolts and install this thing. All right, let's do it. This is where it currently stands. We're gonna back it in so you can actually have it level. First thing first, gloves to protect our hands. Lower the trailer and use your vehicle as support. Next step, we take the pin out and the You don't really need to secure your trailer. You can just leave everything hanging. So you're not gonna be driving probably. To make your life a little bit easier and give yourself some room, you can remove the propane tank cover. That way you can get the wires out of the way. Next thing you do is you grab your 916 socket and a ratchet and you loosen up bolts that they're holding. Be careful, some of the bolts have the nut on the bottom. Don't lose any of the hardware because you have to reuse it. Exciting. Powered by 12 volts. Insert it instead of the manual one. Reinstall the hardware. didn't come with the terminal so I ran to the local auto store bought some Dorman 10 and 12 gauge wire terminals for 516 volts as you can see these terminals sometimes where they put the isolation it goes over so the wire can't go through all the way what I like to do in that case is Trim this piece off nicely like this with the box cutter. The 
that does is that allows the wire, once you insert it inside, to go all the way through and make a good connection. Then you can use regular pliers and squeeze this part as hard as you can. And that's your connector. The next step you need to do is run this wire underneath to this side. Just like that for now. You unstrap your battery box, open it. As you can see, the wire is red, so red wire, the red positive terminal. Again, 916 socket, loosen it up, remove the nut. Depending on your preference, this can go either on top or on the bottom of this terminal. I'm just gonna put it right on top, put the nut back on. Now this is a 12 volt battery, so working with bare hands is okay, as long as you don't do this. Retighten the nut and make sure that whatever you do, you never touch negative and positive terminal with anything metal in your hand. Now once that's done, there's one more thing left to do, and that's test. It does seem slow, but trust me, it's gonna save your back in the long run. Once you have it a little bit lower, in the hardware kit that I didn't realize it comes with the power jack, there's a pin and the safety. The pin. You can grab your new foot, pull it, put it right on the bottom. Make sure you insert pin front to back just in case the safety comes out. This pin will stay in and you push the safety through. Until your trailer gets raised off of your tow vehicle. There you go. One Beautiful. More thing to do, and it's a nice thing to have around. A little bag of zip ties or cable ties, whichever way you guys like to call them. We're going to use these to organize the cables and make sure that this cable is not just dangling around and it gets hung up on something. All right guys, so that's it. The final step was to use some cable ties, organize your cables, run them all the way under and hook it up to the battery over here. As you can see, there's a cable, a little red cable right here going inside. That's how you power this unit. The one last thing that we purchased is to protect this plastic and everything from cracking. It's a little bag that you just slide over and the nice part about it is that you can actually just tie it down like that. You can touch your buttons and use your tongue jack even with it on. You want to show us those buttons things. without the little... Yeah. And then without this bag, as you can see this is a little light right here to help you connect. But again, you have your backup lights off the vehicle that will help that. And then that stays off. And then this little button here extends and retracts your tongue jack. So once that's all covered, you know what's left, what's right. On your driver's side of the vehicle, you have up and down button tied up nicely so you don't lose this bag a little bow or something and that's it perfect and you're all set makes our life so much easier it is slow 
but it's a lot easier than hand cranking it. Okay, the only thing is we didn't have time to shoot us installing the weight distribution and slate control before we hit the road. So we're just gonna show you right now. So in today's video, we're gonna show you how to properly hook up your truck to the trailer and how to set up your weight distribution hitch while doing that. Normally, these weight distribution setups are installed and preset by the dealers that sell you your RV. But if you would like to see how to install this properly, please let us know in the comments below. So the first thing you do is you back up the truck, get as close as you can to perfectly centering the ball to the hitch, make sure that the trailer is high enough to clear, and then you lower the trailer. If you're a little bit off as I am right now, you gotta go back in the truck. Perfect. Good thing to do is put a little bit of the weight of the trailer on the hitch so when you actually get under, the hitch and the pole just connect together. Keep lowering your trailer. So as you're lowering down, you engage your ball lock once that goes in the trailer and the truck are coupled together safely the next thing you do is you go up by doing this you're raising your truck up using your tongue jack that's going to make it easier for you to install your weight distribution from this point, you guys will notice in the video that the truck is starting to raise. What you want to do is you want to raise your truck two to three inches up, which is, I would say roughly there. Now, next thing you do is you grab one of the weight distribution bars, you insert it into the coupling hole. So the way this part works is, the more links down you go, the tighter the weight distribution is. So in our case, we're going to use the second loop. You put the loop over the coupler. I need to raise your truck a little more. Popping and banging is normal because you're adding a lot of tension on this bar. And don't forget to install a safety pin. Once this side is done and you're already standing here, you grab one of your chains. Make sure that your chains are crossed with an X underneath. Hook up the chain, then you go to the other side. So now you come to the other side. Grab the other weight distribution bar, insert it into its position, remove the safety pin, use your little tool, Again, don't forget the safety clip goes in. The other side chain through. Now this little cable here is your breakaway safety brakes for the trailer. You want to make sure this is connected because just in case any of this stuff here fails and your trailer gets detached from the truck. This little cable will engage the trailer brakes and make sure the trailer stops. Next thing, your power cable. You want to make sure that this doesn't snag or anything, so just lay it on top. 
plug it into your truck. Now you can lower the trailer. This your thumb jack up all the way. Alright guys, so you did your weight distribution, lifted your tongue jack, all the chains and everything is connected. The last and really important thing is your sway control. What this thing does is it helps the trailer follow the truck or a tow vehicle in a higher wind from the side pushing you. If you don't have this, the trailer will be all over the road. So the way this works is safety pin goes there, that doesn't come off. You loosen up the you can use this little pin so you don't get dirty. Drop it on the front bolt. Pin in there. Get your way. You tighten. You just the lever. And that's it. Now you're ready to hit the road. But before you hit the road, one thing that we recommend you doing is lock the trailer to your truck. I'm gonna walk over here, grab my keys because I forgot them. What this little thing does is it secures your pole attachment between the truck and the trailer. Essentially tighten it up. And now you're ready to hit the road. Bye. See you next time. Wait, you go. You start over. Just start over, mate. Sorry. Start over. And that's it. Installation is done, and you're ready to hit the road now. So make sure to follow us on Instagram. Info should be below, and subscribe to our channel so you can catch us next week. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.